So you just got your Quest 2, been had your Quest 2, but wish you knew how to install developer mode too? Well, this video's for you. Let's get into it. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn, and welcome back to Getting Things Done. We motivate you, motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant tech. Technology. Listen, today we have an amazing tutorial that we're going to go over about how to install developer mode on your Quest 2. You may ask, why would I want to install developer mode on my Quest 2? Stick around for the end of the video because there's some great reasons why you would want to do that. But for now, let's just jump straight into the tutorial and go over how to install developer mode right now. So step one is real simple. We're going to set up a developer account with Meta slash Oculus and they make it real simple to do this. Go to developer.com oculus.com by the way all links to how to do this is in the description as well once you get to the landing page you're going to want to click on create a new organization when you click on that link it's going to bring you to a page where you're going to have to sign in with your facebook account and once you've done that you'll be able to type in the name of your new developer company whether it's just your name or a name that you make up or a name of a llc or business you already own that you want to develop under once you filled out all that information, you're going to get to this page where you're going to be able to see your user accounts and set up different users under this profile. So step three is real simple. We're going to download the Oculus Developer Hub. You see how to do it here. Once you have it downloaded, what you're going to want to do is install it. Whether you're on Mac or PC, it will automatically download the right version for you. So once we have the Oculus Developer Hub installed, now we just have to go do a few more steps. You're going to get your Quest 2, plug it into your computer, whether it's Mac or PC. Once it's plugged in, you're going to want to go do the prompts that show up in the headset as well as on the screen to get your Quest 2 fully into developer mode. So you may be saying to yourself, Jay Dunn, you say I can do some really cool stuff with developer mode and this tool, but what can I do? But outside of just looking at your videos and images easily from this tool, you're also able to install APKs. That's right, Android apps. If you didn't know, the Quest 2 actually runs Android, which means it can run technically any application you throw at it that already runs on Android. Just make sure you're downloading 64-bit versions of it because the Quest 2 is a 64-bit system. One other real cool thing you can do is now you've unlocked the power to use SideQuest with your Quest 2. SideQuest is an amazing application that not only allows you to download games and experiences that are not on the MetaQuest store yet, but also allows you to unlock like the full potential of your quest 2 but more about that at a later date and speaking of later date why would you wait later to subscribe why would you wait later to like why would you wait later to hit the notification bell to know when the next video comes out because i promise you we got a lot more content coming for you real soon it's your boy jay dunn i'll see you next time peace